You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Harry Bittercress, Cardamony hirsuta. Harry Bittercress is a plant which can be found just about year-round, although its peak growing season is late winter through spring. The range map for Harry Bittercress shows the imported plant growing in a generally U-shaped region of North America, skipping a large section of western states. Harry Bittercress may start growing before winter's harshest weather. It lives through snow and cold. Sometimes the plant comes through a mild winter with darker leaves. Other times, the winter cold is more bitter and the outer ring of leaves dies, turning brown before somewhat warmer weather rescues the plant. Hairy bittercress leaves grow in a basal rosette. This is more obvious with a young plant. As the number of leaves increase, it becomes more difficult to visually separate them from the mass of green. Here, I've pulled up a smaller plant to show how the leaf stalks arise in the rosette form. The leaf of hairy bittercress looks compound, although some field guides refer to its shape as deeply pinnately lobed. To my eye, this is a compound leaf with leaflets arranged pinnately along the leaf stalk, with a single leaflet at the tip of the leaf. After creating the basal set of leaves, the plant begins to grow a smooth flower stalk from the center. This flower stalk will have leaves of a different shape. Now the leaflets are more narrow, although they are still pinnately arranged. This species of bittercress is commonly called hairy bittercress due to the hairs on its leaves. You have to look closely to find them along the leaflet margins, possibly by using a 10x lens. The petiole of the leaf may have a few hairs, and the leaves have some hairs on their surface, which are more noticeable when the leaves are young. Flowers, which are only about two millimeters in width, develop along the upper portion of flower stalks. A large group of hairy bittercress plants will have a mass of flowers. You may notice that some flower stalks and flowers are shades of green and red, while others seem to be predominantly red. The flower bud consists of four sepals. As the bud opens, the sepals expand, and you can begin to see the four white petals of the flower. Located within the four petals are the reproductive parts of the flower. These include four stamens arranged around a single elongated central pistil. Initially, the pistil extends just above the tip of the corolla. It quickly grows upward and well beyond the flower petals. When the stamens shrivel and the petals fall off, what remains is the fertilized ovules within the pistil. This is now the plant's seed pod. As you can see, hairy bittercress keeps growing flowers from the central stalk, while earlier flowers have been fertilized and are now growing seeds. Let's go back to the arrangement of the flowers for a minute. Oh look, there are some hairs at the base of this leaf. At first, the flowers are clustered at the tip of the stalk. As they grow out and the stalk lengthens, more flowers grow along the stalk. As the first lower flowers move through their cycle, new flowers grow alternately up the flower stalk. This alternating pattern is reflected in the placement of the seed pods. From above, they seem to whirl around the stalk. The seed pod is referred to as a salique which means it has two sides or valves which fall away from the septum, the thin partition in the center. When the plant is covered with green salix, it starts to look weedy. The green salix turn brown as their seeds mature. Now, this is the time enjoyed by those who are young at heart and despised by those who find hairy bittercress growing in their cultivated garden bed, the time when the seeds are mature and the salix fling their seeds out into the world. The two sides of the salix become quite dry and they forcefully curl away from the center membrane. 
As the sides curl away, they explosively eject their seeds. If you touch a fully ripe salique, it will spring into action. And, if you are a gardener attempting to remove this weed, you may well find yourself brushing tiny seeds off your face and clothing. The seed flinging begins, even while the plant continues to bloom. After it is filled with dried salix, you can easily hear the rustle of dried seeds hitting other dry plant material when you brush your hand over a patch of hairy bittercress. Hairy bittercress definitely qualifies as a weedy nuisance once it has mature seeds to disperse. However, since the leaves are actually an edible green, you may want to allow it to flourish in a selected spot, while also removing older plants from cultivated gardens before they get to the seed throwing stage. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Cardamony hirsuta, also known as hairy bittercress. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of hairy bittercress for plant identification resources and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.